Explorers, and happy St. Patrick's Day. How to Trap a Leprechaun, what a perfect book for St. Patrick's Day. The author's name is Sue Fleiss, and the illustrator is Emma Randall. Legends tell of tiny elves who visit once a year. They'll steal your treasures for themselves and then quickly disappear. If you catch a leprechaun, he'll grant a wish, I'm told. But if he gets away, too bad. No wish, no luck, no gold. Small and full of trickery, they'll fool you if they can. Catching one takes smarts and skill, but most of all, a plan. The night before St. Patrick's Day, the leprechauns appear. And if you wish to capture one, you'll need the proper gear. First, you'll need to build a trap, one he can't escape. Grab a box, a bottle cap, some glitter, some glue, and some tape. Use gold paint to coat the rocks. He will think that they are real. Scatter them inside the box and he will come to steal. Pour some glue inside the box and build a rainbow slide. He'll take a ride to find the gold, but find he's stuck inside. Leprechauns come out at night so they can sneak around. Now close the drapes and dim the lights and wait without a sound. Did you hear that? Crinkle, snap, quickly, check your snare. Shucks, he just escaped the trap. He could be anywhere. Poof. Look, at this, he left his shoe, and the shoe has a note. The tiny words are addressed to you, and this is what he wrote. Dear children, thanks for the glitter and shiny golden rocks, but I can't be trapped by a cardboard box. Your tricks were quite clever, your trap was so great, but it takes more than rainbows to steal my fate. Signed, Liam the Leprechaun. It's a shame he got away, but please do not shed a tear. Go enjoy St. Patrick's Day and try again next year. That sounds like a great plan. Look at that, all the celebrations. All right, explorers, I hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day. Until next time.